Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, hope you had a good day, certainly a fun one, lots of volatility in gold and we had a lot of fun playing it and this is going to be a video going over the usage of multiple time frames and all the things that it can tell us, which is what I emphasize in videos. So let's start with the daily chart, big time bullish break, bullish reversal candlestick on high volume, still 50 and middle Bollinger Band resistances here at 1247.77, 1249.42, so those will need to be tested. Keep in mind that if you're looking at the hourly chart, you're seeing gold making a huge breakout. It looks like all the bulls in the world are on it. But you look at the daily chart, and we're still clearly in a downtrend. And we could draw a downtrend resistance line, and it would be hitting about 1255, 1260. And that is, we could hit all the way up to 1275, 1280. If we topped out at 1280, it's still a lower high pattern here on the daily chart. So keep that overall in mind, not anticipating a pullback just yet, but we are going to be looking for it and we're going to be scouting entry into the bearish gold miners, Dust and JDST. But that being said, not yet. We're going to be really patient on that entry. So let's look at the different time frames we use to give us lots of profit in gold miners today. First here, we were looking at the hourly chart. Heading into the open today, we had... <clears throat> clear support of an uptrend, higher low, and clear resistance of a downtrend, lower high. So we knew the range was tightening. That led to the boring action we saw yesterday with no movement. But today, very clear break of resistance. And if you weren't convinced on that break of the downtrend resistance, the break above 1223 was certainly convincing, and it just absolutely took off. So we knew to go bullish on that resistance break big time gains for the bulls to the upside and then trading it later in the day we were using the five minute time frame so we can see after that break happened it was another snooze fest here for about four hours where we saw lower highs and higher lows this is what i call reaching an equilibrium after a breakout tighter and tighter and tighter so once i saw the pattern getting this tight i knew that it was likely we're going to see one more volatile move in gold today before the close because the pattern can't just stay that tight forever for the next three hours. So what I did was zoom into the one minute chart and this was the first time I've used the one minute chart in probably six plus months. I don't usually like the one minute chart because I give, feel it gives a lot of fake outs and I like the five minute charts much better for a little bit smoother trading. But looking here at the one minute chart, I drew my downtrend line. We could see 1241 was clear support established, had that downtrend line, once we got to about here at 1.30 in the afternoon, we could see NUGT started making some bullish moves, slow and steady, not correlated with the market or gold. So we knew something was up. That led me to believe the break would be bullish. Didn't get the clear signal here until just before 2 o'clock. And then liking entry for NUGT at the end of the day, especially with the 20 period moving average support holding on the five minute. That was another gauge of support I was using. And then we can see after that bullish break, big time gains towards the end of the day. I believe $95 is when we were scouting it here and we hit 100 at the end of the day. So a nice 5% opportunity at the end of the day, just when you think gold has run too much, the gold miners are too high. We're up 28% already. That's why we use the charts to eliminate what we think is going to happen and watch what we see happening. So we had plenty of members looking for stocking bearish entry, looking to get into dust, saying that they don't want to get into NUGT when they're already up 28%. And that's normally fine, but if you see a very tight, clear pattern break here, signaling the bulls are continuing, that's worth playing. So from here, I do anticipate the top of this bounce to occur around 1250, between 1250 and 1260, and I know that's a, a large range, but at this point, we're not making any bullish entries or bets on gold. Yellen is going to speak on Monday. That's going to have some effect. And we're going to be looking for weakness now in gold for a dust entry. And we're going to be looking at those levels. Previous support down here at 1258.30. We can see a lot of action around 1260 and 1250 of previous price history. Combined with the moving averages, I would say 1250 to 1258 is where we're going to see the top of this bounce. 
So the weekly chart for gold, big bullish reversal candlestick. 10-week resistance is 1250. We'll see if we get a green week next week to confirm this reversal candlestick. And that is the breakdown long video here. Lots of time frames to look over and lots of fun in the chat room with many members playing the miners. And that is that. I hope you have a great weekend and I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.